Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am doing a random cosplay tip video wherein I'm gonna share basically some random little cosplay tips for you guys. These are tips that like beginner cosplay videos don't usually go over, but I think they are very helpful tips for beginners and experienced cosplayers alike. Um, so yeah, that's basically the gist of the video. But before we get into it, today's video is sponsored by Karma, which Karma in and of itself is actually a cosplay tip to share with you guys. So our, our sponsor for today is also a helpful little cosplay tip, which is which is very convenient and very exciting. Um, Karma is an app and browser extension that uses clever tech to ensure you never miss a price drop or coupon code. Karma used to be known as ShopTagger, but they recently changed their name. They're always expanding their capabilities and their new name represents the good karma they put forth by helping you shop smart. So I have found Karma to be very helpful and very convenient. I think it's a really clever service and it really helps a lot, especially when buying cosplay and photography gear. Those are the main things that I use it for. Obviously cosplay and photography equipment can get really, really expensive. So it's really helpful having this service to not only keep track of all the items that you're interested in so you can properly budget them out, but it also of course notifies you when there is a price drop so you can save as much money as possible. I found this to be extremely handy and especially since I'm on a very tight budget right now, it's definitely been a very helpful service in terms of shopping strategically rather than doing a bunch of impulse buys and also saving money wherever possible. So I definitely recommend checking it out. You can click the link below to go and check out Karma. How it works is you just download it to use with your web browser or to use on your phone. And from there, you can visit your favorite stores and save any items that you might be interested in. You have the option to receive notifications via email or touch notification when an item you've saved goes on sale, when there's a relevant coupon or when it comes back in stock. Here's a little look at the items that I've saved. Like I said, I've been mostly interested in cosplay and photography gear and I have them of course organized into groups whether they're a cosplay item or photography item so I can do my shopping more mindfully and strategically rather than making impulse buys. Karma uses clever tech to scan the web for coupon codes and automatically applies them at checkout. This is a special feature if you use Karma on your computer making their Chrome extension an absolute must. You can also earn cash back through PayPal when you shop from select retail partners. Now more than ever it's important to get max value so this is a really really great feature. Obviously it's, it, it's free money so how can you go wrong? You can check out the link below to try out Karma and to save as much money as possible, be sure to download Karma both on your computer and your phone. A huge thank you to Karma for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, it's not just a sponsor, it is also a cosplay tip. Totally use Karma to help yourself save money on cosplay gear, photography gear, and to help yourself better plan out your cosplay purchases. All of that out of the way, let's get into today's video. I have my list right here. Um, let's talk about some random cosplay tips. So the first tip that I'm going to talk about is basically how to pin your wig. This is a really basic thing, but I feel like a lot of people don't exactly talk about it. So I thought I'd share with you guys how I pin my wig. Um, I learned this from a magazine. The best way that I found to pin on my wig is to put a bobby pin in front of my ear, behind my ear on both sides. And then optionally, if you have hair braided up in the back of your wig, you put two on the back right here and right here. This is how I've always pinned on my wigs. I found it to be a very secure way of pinning on wigs. So if you're ever wondering the best way to pin on your wig, that is definitely what I recommend. The next tip is makeup. One thing that I have learned through cosplay that I didn't really know at the beginning is that your wig really affects how dramatic your makeup looks. So when you're doing your makeup, don't be afraid to go over the top or what seems like over the top because cosplay makeup and everyday makeup are very, very different. Obviously for everyday makeup, you want things to be more toned down, more kind of normal looking. And so when you're doing the transition from everyday makeup to cosplay makeup, sometimes you might be experimenting with, with with various colors or doing more dramatic eyeliner or you know going a little bit crazy with your eye eyeliner. When you're sitting in front of the mirror, I've had this all the time, when you're sitting in front of the mirror doing your makeup, sometimes you try something a little crazy and you're like, ooh, maybe that's too much. It, you know, you start to kind of stress out, is this gonna look good or bad or what have you. What I have learned is to never be afraid to go over the top with your cosplay makeup because your wig is always going to tone it down as soon as you put it on. Every time works like a charm. I've never done my makeup and seen it without the wig and thought, mm, this is too much and then put on the wig and then it turns out to be too much. It always, always, always works out once you put the wig on there. Cause like I said, the wig tones everything down in a way that natural hair just doesn't. So while this might look kind of over the top and a little bit crazy, once you go from that to this, it all looks totally fine. So that is my second cosplay tip. Don't be afraid to go over the top with your makeup. And if you're doing your makeup and it seems like it's a little bit too crazy, a little bit too much, just remember that your wig is gonna tone it down and it'll probably look absolutely fine. Cosplay tip number three is to be very liberal with your selfie taking when you're trying on a new cosplay. Whenever you're trying on a new look, whenever you're trying on a new cosplay, it's important to get used to how that look looks 
on you. It's something that we kind of don't necessarily think about, I feel like, in cosplay. You don't really take into consideration the fact that obviously trying on a new hair color, trying on a new method of, of doing your makeup, um, it's really going to change the way you look and that takes some getting used to. So while you may be comfortable posing just with your natural face, you know what your good angles are, you know kind of how you photograph relatively, when you try on a new cosplay, that isn't always the case. It takes some getting used to to figure out, you know, what are my better angles? What do I look like when I pose like this? What do I look like when I pose like that? What facial expressions look best with this cosplay, with this particular look? So to get used to that, I recommend doing what we call a cause test or cosplay test. Most people just call it a cause test. And that is where you take your cosplay, you put everything on as if you're going to a convention or a photo shoot, and you then set yourself up with your phone and you just take a bunch of selfies in the cosplay. This gives you the opportunity to experiment with your makeup and your wig. It's a dry run so that when you get to a convention, you don't have any disasters with your makeup because you're trying things for the first time. It gives you the opportunity to try certain makeup techniques, try certain wig styling techniques for the first time and see if you like it with that character. But it also gives you the opportunity to model the cosplay and have a sense of how you look. And it's really important to take selfies in particular, not just have somebody take photos of you, but rather go and use your front facing camera and take a bunch of selfies because that gives you the opportunity to figure out what angles look best on you, what facial expressions look best on you in that particular look. And it's going to help your confidence so much when you go to an actual convention or photo shoot and you wear that cosplay, you're then going to have a much better idea of how you look because I've had it so many times where I try a cosplay on for the first time on the day of the convention, I get to a photo shoot and I feel super uncomfortable because I don't know how I photograph. I don't know what facial expressions look best. I don't know what angles look best um, because it's a completely new you know, makeup technique that I'm using or it's a completely new hair color on me. It's amazing how things like hair color can totally change the way you look. Certain wig styles can change how your face shape looks. And so that thus is going to change how you photograph and what angles look best. Like it's just, it's a really complicated way of saying it's really good to give yourself a chance to get used to various different looks and to get used to posing in those looks by taking a whole bunch of selfies. So I recommend just taking some time, use your selfie camera and just take some photos of yourself because not only is that going to give you the opportunity to practice your hair and makeup and see if you like how you've done the hair and makeup that time, but it's also going to make you feel much better about posing and then your photo shoots are gonna go much easier. You'll feel much more comfortable and you'll be much happier with the results. Our final cosplay tip I don't think it's a tip. I think it's technically a hack, but like, hopefully it's okay putting it in this video. That is insoles. A long time ago, I did a video where I talked about wearing shoes that didn't fit me for cosplay. This is a terrible idea. Don't do it. <laughs> it's, it's, a really, it's a really bad idea to wear shoes that don't fit. However, sometimes you find the perfect cosplay shoes, but they aren't in your size. So what do you do in that situation? Well, in the event that the shoe is a half size too big, you can actually use insoles to make it smaller and thus fit you better. This is something that I've done with my everyday shoes on multiple occasions. And I obviously they're my everyday shoes, so I wear them all the time and it is totally totally work it's a little bit more touch and go if it's a full size too big for you and you're then trying to make it smaller you can use two insoles but um sometimes i find that that can be a little bit of a stretch but it's definitely worth trying if that's all you have is, is a shoe that is a, a full size too big for you it's definitely worth trying to make it smaller using insoles but i find that it works like a charm if the shoe is just a half size too big for you this is a really cheap and easy way to make a shoe that otherwise wouldn't fit you fit you and therefore you're going to have a much better experience wearing it to a convention. You're not going to make your feet hurt because like I've said in the past, that is not a good experience. That is not a good thing to do to yourself. Insoles are really cheap and easy to find. You can find them at any drugstore or dollar store. I personally like to go to the dollar store because I'm very much on a tight budget. I've had really good experiences with dollar store insoles, so no worries about them being not as good just because they're cheaper. I've, I've found them to work perfectly well. If you're looking for like an orthopedic solution though, then you would want to go for a drugstore one. That's going to be a little bit more expensive, but obviously you're going to have more of that comfort because it's going to be an orthopedic solution. And yeah, that's just a little way of making your shoes fit better so that you're going to have a better convention experience. And that is it. Those are my little cosplay tips for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any little cosplay tips that you'd like to share, feel free to leave them down in the comments. We can help each other out. And like I said previously, if you're interested in checking out Karma, I will have a link down in the description for you to check it out. Save some money, get some money back, all good things. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.